coalition government has debunked a recent statement made by Bruce Golding, who led an organization of American states observer electoral mission to Guyana as partisan, biased, and incredulous. Here's that story. CEO of the National COVID-19 Task Force and former Director General of the Ministry of the Presidency, Joseph Harmon, on Wednesday evening, stated that apart from it lacking credibility and leaning towards the opposition PPP, the government has noted the timing of the statement and its similarity in content and style to that of the leader of the opposition. It would appear as if this was coordinated and pre-arranged to deliver statements which were strikingly similar in content and style. Harmer noted that Golding's statement is not only exceptionally partisan, but it is grossly irresponsible and hostile to the nation and the people of Guyana. As a former head of state of a CARICOM nation, the government said the statement smacks of gross disrespect for a sovereign state and the ongoing process supported by CARICOM. Golden's partisanship and unquestionable link to the People's Progressive Party compromises him and no longer can he be considered an independent observer. He has clearly demonstrated a bias for his close associates and appeared to have now become an unabashed co-conspirator of the PPP as they seek to defy the will of the Guyanese people. The government calls on Guyanese to disregard the distant voices and pay attention to the unfolding situation.